it's me, Willy Walnuts. I'm gonna show you how to make a pizza the Willy Walnuts way. Um, the recipe I use, I kinda modify it from the New York Times reverse recipe. So what we need is 400 grams of flour, between five and 10 grams of salt, depending on your taste, five grams of olive oil, and around one teaspoon of yeast. All right, so the way you'll know your yeast is active is it'll foam up like that. If your yeast doesn't foam up, it's bad and you gotta get new yeast. So basically once you have your, all your ingredients measured out and your yeast active, um, I use a KitchenAid mixer. You could use um, your hands if you want, I guess if you live in the ice ages, but uh, just get a KitchenAid mixer, it's easier. So add the flour. Add your salt. Add your warm water with the yeast. Turn your mixer on the first setting. All right, so, I mean, this isn't an exact science, so once you put all your ingredients in, just make sure your flour gets mixed in with the liquid. And after it mixes for a little bit, I like to check it to see if it needs more liquid or more flour. You basically want a dough that is soft and not sticky. If you touch it and your dough is still sticky, you need to add more flour. I mean, sometimes you got to open it and just get a little flour off the sides. You can tell our dough is a little wet still, so we're just gonna add a little bit of flour until it starts pulling away from the walls. All right, so you know your dough is almost ready when it's not sticking to the walls of the bowl or the bottom. And then you could just stop it and touch it and it shouldn't stick to your fingers. So you really wanna mix it for about 15 minutes and keep adding flour until it's like this where it's not sticking to the sides. Once the dough is like this, you could pull it off of your dough hook. Add a little bit of flour. Just pull it away from the walls. You just want to make a little ball. And then let it rest for about an hour. It should almost double in size. What I usually do is cover the top of the bowl with a wet rag. That way it'll keep the dough moist and the top won't dry out. I'll see you guys back here in an hour and we will form our pizza doughs. All right, it's been a little over an hour. We're gonna check back into the dough and see how it looks. Let's see, it looks like it doubled in size. Got it. And before we take the dough out, we're gonna use these pizza dough tins. You could get them on Amazon or a restaurant supply store. They're pretty cheap and uh, 
they're very useful because once you form the dough and put them in there, they'll keep shape and it's an easy way to store them in the refrigerator. All right, so just take a paper towel with a little bit of olive oil and rub it around the whole inside of the tin. And keep this on the side because we're going to use it for the dough also. So take a little bit of flour, put it on your countertop. Take your dough out, cut it in half. And you can pick up the dough, cup it in your left hand, and then roll it over with your right hand. You kind of want to push it in towards the middle like that. Do this until the dough ball is nice and smooth. It shouldn't tear. If your dough is tearing, that means you didn't knead it enough in the mixer. So you could close up the bottom. All right, so form the other one. It's really nice and slow, so you see what I'm doing here. You're just cupping it in the one hand and rolling it over with the other until it gets nice and smooth. And then you want to seal the bottom. There you go. Two nice doughs. Put them in the tins. And I like to put a little bit of olive oil on top so it doesn't get a crust. If you don't do this, they'll kind of get a crust on top. Just rub the olive oil over the top a bit. Then you can stack them. Cover the top one with saran wrap. All right, so once your doughs are all wrapped up in the tins, if you're gonna use them today, you could let them sit out room temperature for a couple hours until they double in size. If you plan on using them tomorrow, you could put them in the refrigerator and let them rise in the refrigerator overnight. Just make sure you take them out at least a couple hours before you make your pizzas or else they'll be too hard to stretch out. We'll see you in a few hours when they're ready to make. All right, so while the dough is rising, we're gonna make a sauce. I use La Valle Pomodoros. You just have to mash them up with your hands. I already did it, so once they're mashed up, you could add Pecorano Romano. Basil. Oregano. Black pepper. Red pepper. Salt. And a little bit of lemon juice. I feel like it cuts down the acidity. And stir it up and then give it a taste and add more seasoning as needed. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so I'm not going to go too in depth on how to make uh, pizza because I have another video. I'm going to link it in the description. It shows you how to make a pizza and have it not stick on your peel. So I'm just going to make them real quick and uh, show you the finished product. <laughs> And basically the uh, temperature you want to cook your pizza at is like between 6 and 700. I wouldn't go over 700 if you use uh, sugar in your dough like I do. If you have a uh, wetter dough and you don't use sugar, you could go up to like 900 degrees. I use a, a Kamado Joe and a Dojo, as you'll see in the other video. You should use a uh, whole milk, low moisture mozzarella. It stops your pizza from getting too uh, wet. And some veggie pepperoni on half. A little bit of Parmesan on top. And that's it. Make sure it ain't sticking. And we're Gucci. All right. There you have it. Crispy.